to Bows and Bullets. I'm not gonna say anything else, just welcome back. Hello, hello, I'm currently shooting some light cell and making my shots count, nice! Okay, the light cell's been taken out. Okay, oh, let's well, go. One more that I can't hit, dang it. I'm actually well, gonna- I'm actually gonna go grab a second pistol, so I can dual wield them. Yeah. I've got my SMG ammo. Yeah, the SMG is gonna be really good against them. Okay. Let me put this toolbox in here, I'll take care of that stuff later. I'm definitely gonna make a mod that adds in, like, really long barrels to the- to the, uh, Like, a really long barrel on the revolver, like a version of it that you can buy. More it's accuracy. Probably, like, higher damaging shells as well, just yeah, so much more okay. powerful. Okay, and I'm gonna get my plasma cutter for cut through walls quickly. Okay. I'm gonna set up my timer real quick. Okay, plasma cutter. Everything's ready. Let me grab a go. I love how this mission is actually just us transporting eggs, but we ran into so many good shit this time around. Yeah, we ran into things like we voluntarily chose to engage. Yeah. I do kind of wish we didn't go in the ruins. That was kind of a waste of time. Well... It was, a nice, it was a nice experience, but we didn't even fight anything. Why is there a battery cell on the ground? I don't know, oh, I, I can't, can't pick, pick it up. up. I think it's just a glitch. Oh, okay. Well, let's get, let's get going before I drain any more of my oxygen. I'm gonna swap the tank real quick so I can get yep. people Yep, all my tanks are full, except the one in me. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> there you go. I like how Giggity Giggity used to be longer, actually, like at the beginning of Family Guy. Yeah. And then it just kept getting faster and faster. It was like Giggity Giggity, Giggity Goo. It was like a bunch of gibberish, actually. Okay. I've okay. also got, instead of having all of my ammo in the chest and only one spare mag, I've actually got four spare mags sitting out. For okay. So stay behind me. Stay a decent distance behind me in case it does find a way to shoot us. Um. And don't kill, uh... Oh, they're Light Your Cell, I think. I think they're called Light Your Cell. Uh... That's what you said. I, I don't remember what I said. Uh... Don't kill Light oh, Your Cell until they get too close, the because I got pistols, and the pistols will take care of them pretty good. Okay. Oh, there's one. Is that one dead? No, that one's not dead. I've taken out a few. There's There was one that okay, I didn't Okay, that one's get. dead. That one's dead. Oh, oh, I shot you. Dang Yes, you did. I tried Oh, shit, that's the spear right there. Hi, buddy. I don't think it that's will attack us. Yeah, that's the spear. Okay. If it did, that would be so overpowered. Oh, it unhooked. Yeah, it will unhook. Are those light yourself free? Those light yourself are not free. Okay. You want me to SMG them? I have a better idea. Explosive, Explosive bolts. Okay. Okay, stand back. Stand back. Was that not? It, it, oh, does it go left to right and then up? That's stupid. Whatever. Okay. I think I killed it. The brain is that's the brain. Yeah, and the brain is dead. It's you broken. Tell me the light cell where the the brain made the light cell. No, the brain doesn't. But it always has uh, like four that guard it. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab some loot while we're here. Yep, grab loot. I only have one chest with me because I went big on the guns. Ooh, welding fuel, though. That's important. You can't grab this light yourself. Why would you want to do that? Because they have uh, par parallaxes, and you can, can you use that to make uh, anti paralyzing stuff. Should we go deeper? Yeah, we can explore the whole thing now. The brain is dead. Nothing, nothing survives when the brain dies. That makes sense. See, this thing is the Morgan. ammo. Morgan. What is this? What? A dr oh, adrenaline gland and alien blood. Yeah, it's an organ. This over here, this thing right here, is an ammo sack. It, it has the ammo for the thing above us. A little flesh gun. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to cut open that door because I I don't have a pass. Do you have, do you have, do you have toolboxes on you? Because I didn't bring any. I yeah, I don't... do. 
Okay. You're the ammo guy this time. Ooh, thorium. Rods, not just thorium. Where do you want me to cut? Uh, uh that door over there to the left. Mm, this one up here. That's really gross. Very. That if I were in a world like this, whenever I came across a Thalmus and I beat it, I would personally spend the time to burn the whole thing. Like, I don't know if Thermite... Does Thermite work underwater? Yes. Thermite works yeah. extremely well underwater. I would bring Thermite charges specifically to be able to burn all the organs, because... Oh, you can... There's iron in here. There's a flare. And silica. Silicon's pretty fucking useless. There's a log book, but I'm not gonna grab it because it's just a really crappy story. Can you cut that? What? That that hatch right there. Oh yeah, back up. Imagine imagine if one of the missions was to go to the Thalmus, but there really actually was someone still alive. Oh wow, that would be pretty cool. Like a rescue effort. Okay, there's well, no, nothing but how, here. Think of how long it takes a Thalmus to live, though. To, to like grow this big. Yeah. Like the guy's been surviving in here for like what years, eating whatever the Thalmus catches. I don't know if it's something. years. Oh hey, it's uh one of our railgun shells. I'll take that back. Uh yeah, okay, open okay. that. Open that. This okay. has actually been pretty interesting then. Yeah. Okay. I will say some of our previous missions were a bit more uh, fast paced, but I think it's because we were on hundred percent difficulty. Yeah. How do I open this door? Yep. So like I was saying, so how much damage does the plasma and welding tools actually do to enemies and people? Not a lot. Like, I mean, en think? enough to, you know, you don't want to hurt people with it, but not enough I to where it's reasonable as a weapon. I no, really open over here. Open over here. There's a hatch. I really do think that they should do reasonable amounts of damage because it's, it's plasma. Yeah. Oh, that's a door. Okay. I can just go up through here. Don't have to waste the fuel. We can just go back around. Oh, wait. No, what am I doing? Wrong way. Oh, this door's locked, too. Gotta swap my oxygen. Oh, shit. What's happening to me? There we go. What? I was, like, stuck in that corner. Mm. It's the corner of death. Yeah, we destroyed a lot of the hull, but we just couldn't reach the brain. Oh, two doors in one, okay. Oh, well, shit. Oh, sorry, watch out. I do like how the most damage that's been done so far has been because I shot you. Yeah, <laughs> you shot me in the ass. Oof, My ass cheeks are bleeding. Oxygen. Let me take that oxygen tank. Okay, I'll take the morphine. Okay, cut oh, down there's here. a hole right here. The whole time. Oh, we could have gone right up. Okay, sure. Oh, shit. Wait. Look, look in here. What is it? Good Ooh, shit. How about that, please? I'm gonna use that plasti seal on me myself. Ooh, and it's even more. There's even more stuff in the mini, in the mini medical cabinet. Plasti seals for gunshot wounds, right? Thought it was. I don't know. I'm not a medic. Yeah, oh, there's, there's, there, there's oh, the I cell spawn know. organ. I found a syringe gun. The doctor will appreciate that. See, can you grab the body? I won't be able to even uh, take any of his inventory. Oh, I grabbed the lighter cell, okay. Should we carry the lighter cell back to the ship? No, you just take the shit out of him. Oh, oh, I... Oh, I see, okay. They've got a little inventory. I almost missed the little box. Okay. No, no, drop the lighter cell. There you go. Ooh! Fully loaded riot, riot shotgun and an EMP grenade. There's two shotguns over here with an EMP grenade. Wow. Let's come back and grab that. I'm and out of then room. Three rail coil gun. Yeah, three coil gun ammo. Box is completely full. Nice. I'm using this guy's storage. First time for everything. Okay, I'm gonna go dump my stuff. This was actually worth our time. Yeah. Damn, I am slow. Here, go limp. 
I don't know if you can grab me because I'm holding on to someone else. Oh, that'd be super great. Okay, well, let's go to the top. What oh here? I, I'll take him, and you just swim normally. It's okay, yeah, because I got a fucking shell. Do I have to hold space? No, you just have to press G on him. You have to grab him. Just don't... Just be careful whenever you're guppying him around because sometimes he'll let go. There you go, I got him. He was falling through the nose of the hull because the nose doesn't have collision. That is one of the interesting things with games like this where it's like all paper. I, basically, you can call it paper physics. Yeah. It, like, it can lag behind. Like, it registers that you're clicking, but it lags far enough behind because of the physics. And then Ooh, the pump in here is almost broken. I think we left the door open. Oh, you're right. I have been doing that. I didn't close the exterior door. Well, let me get inside quickly. Oh, this goes over here. Damn it. That would be cool if they add that eventually. Imagine if they had, like, crew rosters, and they pay you to bring back the extra bodies and stuff. Yeah, that would be pretty neat. But no, 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 stop. That would also stop. be kind of realistic, too. Well, imagine you could also find crew that aren't on the roster, like there were stowaways or something. Yeah. That would be why you find so many bodies in the ballast. Actually, that sounds like a good bear trauma roleplay, the, body, the bodies in the ballast. Well, I kind of want to write a, a short story called The Husk in the Ballast. Oh, yeah, you said that, you said that. Not sure what direction I wanted to go, but I think it'd be a, I think it's a great name for one. Maybe it's something like the Telltale Heart, where like the crew and the captain know it's there full well, and they just let it. Like, uh, like I, in my head, I have like a few ways that I kind of think that it should go. Like one way, I think it should be like a super like, uh, like one way I wanted to like solicit fear. But and then the other way, I wanted to solicit distrust, where like, okay, let's say that you just got hired, like you're like a, a mechanic or something. You just got hired to this kind of reasonable crew, you know, you get paid well, and then you find something in the ballast, and it's like a guy, and he's strapped to like boards and shit, and they're slowly turning him into a husk, and it just causes all sorts of dismay. Why would they be turning him into a husk, though? To harvest husk eggs, because husk eggs are very valuable. Oh, that's disgusting! Yes. So they just, they just hire people and slowly, like, the newest hires. So he is, like, thinking him. He's thinking, like, do they do this to all the new hires? No, no, no. The they, they, they don't, they're not doing it to the new hires. They're doing it to people that they find. Um, and the new hire is the guy who's noticing it. Wait, what do you mean find? How would you find a person? That's uh, so there, there, it's been proven that, you know, that there's PvP, um, and that there's, that there's different factions, uh, and also... Wait, where's my ammo box? Did I leave my ammo box back on the... I don't know. Wow, there's an exploding ammo box here. I think I left my ammo box back on the... I should go back and get that. I'm gonna go back out and see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, I don't see it. On the, no, I think I might have left it on the ship. I might have dropped it. On the wreck, yeah, I know, I'm on the wreck. Oh, go okay, around. you're on the wreck. Can you look for it? Because that, that was, like... Yeah, I, I, just went back, I just went back to grab this exploding ammunition box and the shotguns. Oh, no, 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 I have it. I just filled it up with other stuff, and so it confused me for a bit. Oh, okay. Sir, I don't think there's anything else on the ship. I think we got everything. No, there's just the gun. There's just the guns and the ammo, which I really want to get. Yeah, I got the I got the two ride shotguns, the EMP grenade, and the exploding ammunition box. There's two more regular ammunition boxes. Okay, we're gonna have to do some deconstructing. Yeah. Two full shotguns, though. Damn. Yeah, that that's a good like any time. That is a good find. Oh yeah. But I, I kind of, I kind of want to write the story like, so the guy who finds this this other guy who's being slowly turned into a husk, 
it's like a narrative between like his conversations with the husk what, what, what the guy turning into a husk and him trying to tell the captain about it but like at the very end of it he realizes that uh that the captain's been in on it this whole time and that the captain like I don't know, the captain gets rid of him or throws him out the airlock or something, does something to get rid of him at the very end. So it's like a very dark ending. Oh, there you are, I see you. But I don't know. Yeah. It was just kind of a direction that I kind of would like to go. But, like, ah, oh, that's that's such a terrifying concept. Like, what, so a really terrifying concept in horror is the any, any a situation where a person directly contradicts what anyone would think he would do in a situation. Like, he's, he goes down there, talks to the guy who's being turned into a husk, repeatedly, has repeated conversations with him, but doesn't free him. And then the question is, well, why would he? They're in a submarine. He has nowhere to go. Right. But it's also, like, on top of that, I would definitely make it very adamant that he doesn't know that he has the husk at the very the very first few times that he meets and talks to him. He doesn't know that he has the husk. Not even him. Not even the guy who is infected knows. Uh, it's only until the later stages that they both realize it. And by that time, he realizes that he's, he's chained to the wall. There's nothing he can do to get him out. What if you did a reverse where the guy sinks the ship instead of the cab? Hey, we've got uh, the engine room is full. The engine room is full of water. Oh, well, we should fix that. Those, those external leaks I never got to. It probably it probably broke the pump that was in there, and then it finally started to fill up. Oh, is the ballast broke? Okay, I'll go to the ballast first. Well, no, I mean, like, just the pump in that room. Or does it just leak into the ballast? No, that room leaks into the ballast. Oh. That mm -hmm. room leaks directly into ballast. Okay, I'm gonna lock the door behind me. I never did the tail. That, that's a very... That's a very... If we were roleplaying, that would be a very good roleplay situation. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Don't come in here. Oh, though the engine itself is broken. Okay, I've gotta go out. I've gotta go top. Okay, yep. I'm coming back with more coal gun ammo. I'm gonna go out one more time to get that last piece of ammo. I mean, the ballast should be able to pump faster than this hole. This is a very ironic way for this to be broken. Just said twice. I need to take care of that. <laughs> no, the pump is... Oh, oh, what? I don't know. Oh, I don't. I don't know I, how I would want that story to end. But either way, I want it to end with like it not being a good ending. I have found a critical failure in the design of my ship. What? The ballast pump doesn't pump outwards. It directly regulates ballast. So right now I have it so that my little floor drain, that's you right out there. Yeah, that's you. Okay. Yeah. Goes into the ballast. Mm -hmm. So that means. Oh dang it. The pump out in the airlock is broken, so I can't open. Oh no, I can't open. I have to fix that. It was already fixed. Is it? So, um, if the engine room has a break, it can't pump the water out of itself, out of itself, out of its room, because of the fact that um, it will it will le it will drain to the ballast, which won't continue to pump the water. Because the ballast is full because we're sitting on something. Huh? If if I were to pull the ship up, the ballast would start pumping again. Okay. So it's only a problem in a very specific situation. Yeah. Is the engine off right now, though? Oh, uh, we're not moving, so it should be. So long as you don't see bubbles. Like, lots of bubbles. We're recording a video. The spirits have t spoken. Well, I hope not. That's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't want her to be a spirit yet. You get. I said I don't. I think another thing is I want the um. It might be a little bit of a hassle, but I think I want the external door to automatically shut after about fifteen seconds. Mm -hmm. 
so that uh, we don't have that pump issue of leaving the uh, uh, external door open. Okay, rear repairs should be finished. The room should be draining, and I have to go fix them. Okay, I got the last box of cold gun ammo that was on that ship. Okay, that was working. Okay, thank you for that. I don't know, maybe I'll make it so, like, at the end of the story, he free- he finally frees the husk, but it- but it's, like, too late, and he's already full husk. What if he frees it knowing- like, he- there's this- he see- there's a moment where he looks into the guy's eyes, the guy knows he's about- like, the guy knows, he sees the guy go, and then lets the husk free. Yeah, so he could just take revenge on everyone. Yeah, just like, because it's, it's the weird conundrum of he couldn't free the guy physically, he literally, oh wait, wait, no, there's still a hole somewhere, I have to go back out. He couldn't free the guy because he physically lacked the capability, but then per, what, what about perhaps later on he finds the tools to do so, like he gets a crowbar, or they eventually reach a point of desperation where he's like, I'm gonna have to cut your arm off, but I have this plasma cutter, and they're like, okay, do it, but then they see the husk coming, and now the guy's like, wait, no, I can't because you'll hurt us. But then he's like, you know what, in the very last moment, he does it anyways. Cause that's one of the weird things with psychological horror is like the human conundrum. Any situation where like, you could free him, but you lack the tools. You now have the tools, but you now fear to free him. Yeah. And then you decide to anyways. No, there's no hole. Why is it still gaining water? Here? I don't know why the ship- is the ship gaining water? It is! Why yeah, is it, it is. Hmm. I hope there's not like a point of texture that I just can't get. Oh, I killed myself with the engine. It's off! Are you completely dead? Uh, I think I'm dead. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm the, the last little ticks of health that you can come and get me. Uh, probably not. Okay. Uh, I, I think can I'm try. Dead. Dead. My body. Yeah, no, I have the option to give in. You, uh, uh, bottom left, bottom left. Falling slowly. Lights are on. You can probably make it to me if you're fast enough with the guppy. Yep. At least you can. I'm coming. Uh, from the engine straight down. Yep, you found me. I've got a uh, quarter health. I'm not gonna make it, I don't think, but you can get me back at least. Is this all the recording? Yeah. This has made a good episode, I think. Yeah, it's episode two. Yeah, I'm gone. Damn, yeah, I just saw the health bar disappear. Damn. God, I'm dead. Unfortunate. It would be cool if they eventually incorporate a game master or dungeon master mode where someone can purposely watch and they spawn things. I mean, you could actually do that. It's just not a proper mode. Hmm. Okay, unload my body and I. How much time? How much time do we have left? Oh, uh, we still got fifteen. Okay, sure. I'll just quickly put your stuff away and then uh, finish the mission. I thought it was completely inactive since we weren't moving. Hmm. I thought the engine was completely inactive. Yeah, I thought it was too. Maybe if you just get way too close. I pressed right up against it because I was like, maybe there was a texture just a little bit too far for me to hit. Okay, okay I put your, I put all your stuff in this bottom area. We just lost power. Yeah. I thought I told someone to man that. Actually, oh. no, I guess not. I just got handed a bunch of letters, but I won't open it till later because of the crinkling. Oh man, so unemployment in my state has been so uncooperative. I've been trying to apply for two months. Or go just a little bit over for the second episode. Yeah, we'll probably just go a little bit over. So, do you want to go to a natural formation, or do you want to go to a military outpost? Well, either, way, either way, it's killing a hammerhead, so let's go to the military outpost. 
Well, there's wreck, there's wreck salvage, but we already did that a couple times. Yeah, okay. let's let's let's, let's, let's kill a hammerhead. Okay, we should definitely pick up a few more uh, railgun rounds. Uh, we'll just pick up steel because you can fabricate those. Is it cheaper to fabricate? Yes. Like, does it take less steel to fabricate by price? Yes. Than it does to buy the railgun. Each round? steel is twenty five, and you only need one steel for a railgun shell. A railgun shell is thirty. So you that say makes sense. That's upselling. Yep. From an economic standpoint, that actually makes sense. Yeah. You, you spend the time to create the resource yourself, or here buy the completed resource for only five thousand more. That's not bad. I'm not five hundred. Five thousand. Um. Only five more. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. uh. Let's go. So buy the steel. Yeah, I got the steel. Okay, you got the steel. Oh wait, 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 wait. There we go. Okay. Ready Start. when you are. Okay. Yeah, make oh, the... no, I didn't on side by side. No, you this didn't. This doesn't have side by side. Yeah, I on. noticed that. Okay. Another upgrade. Yep. Can I walk away while it's fabricating? Yeah. You don't have to look at it or even be near it. So long as you're the one who starts the fabrication, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's well, no, it's a nice gameplay command. It a be fabricator, I think that by, necess by necessity, a fabricator would have to be an automatic machine. Well... Like, what manual operation would a molecular, like, fabrication device have? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, when you say fabricator, that's like a, that's a huge <laughs> array of what it could be doing. Um... Yeah, fabrication could be anything from it literally is like... Oh shit, it's it's itself. it's charging us. You're already there, what? I didn't... I didn't it showed up a lot faster than I thought it would. Okay, bottom well, right, bottom right. Bottom right, bottom right. It's and backing, go it's go backing up though. It's charging. Race, I'm not gonna be able to shoot it in time. Oh shit. Okay, get on the gun. We're not gonna have any explosives this time, though. Or no, you're shooting. Okay, grab the explosives. No, get on the bottom right coil gun. Bottom right coil gun. Okay. Yeah, no, don't load any explosives. It's just a regular hammerhead. Coil gun or rail gun? Coil gun. Get on the bottom right coil gun. The rail gun can't really hit it because you're too close to a wall. Okay, I'm on the rail gun. No, coil gun. Yeah, sorry, coil gun. Ah, I am on the coil gun. The one that goes pew pew. Pew pew. Not that far. Give me a direction. Oh, you should be able to see it. Bottom right coil gun. There is no bottom right. There's a bottom middle coil gun, and I can't see it. There is a bottom right coil gun. There's a bottom right rail gun. No, right here. Right here, this oh, one. Oh. Bottom right, not top bottom right. right. Bottom right. There it is. It's just been ramming us this whole time while I'm looking for it. Yep. Luckily, it's been hitting our nose, so. Which is the densest part of the ship. Placement of ammo soon. Oh, there's a crawler oh. right there. You get the crawler, I focus on the hammerhead. Okay. Oh, hammerhead's dead. Hammerhead's dead. Confirm okay, crawler's dead. Yep. Nice. Quick mission, good mission. Okay, go go continue your fabrication stuff. Okay, can you. Did you. I'm gonna get the ammunition boxes in the um, holders before. Uh, no shit, more incoming. I'll get this. It's just a small thing. Yeah, just a crawler. Oh, oh no, don't shoot that gun. Yeah, which is a relic out of crawler. Just pew. It's at a very bad day. I once killed a whole. S I, I once killed, like, you know how you have to. There's, like, a mission for killing the crawler swarms. I killed yep. an entire swarm with one railgun shell. By accident? No, on purpose. Mm hmm. An entire swarm. They all lined up just perfectly, and I had an explosive shell. Uh, that's what I was. Well, I was like, did you did you you pierced all of them? No, that's not possible. The railgun loses uh uh lethal velocity after like two hits. Sometimes after one hit. Two penetrations. Uh, well, two hits. It doesn't have to be a penetration, but yes. Where did 
the oxygen that I just had go? It's supposed to be right there. No, the ship's probably gonna shake a lot because we're kind of dragging the corpse, and the corpse will still shake the camera, but it won't actually do damage to the ship. Can we get her off of us? Yeah, it's fine. It's just it, it's the, the decorative piece on our ship. We just carry around skulls of our enemies. Jeez. Any idea how barbaric that actually is? Like that was actually a practice that people used to do, but that's incredibly barbaric. I think there's something there's gnawing at our cutters. ass. These plasma cutters that I emptied of their oxygen last oh. round respawned with empty oxygen in them. What? Oh no, I just didn't check them. Okay, weird. No, oh, okay. Well, they might have been ones that I grabbed or something. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I was gonna say that's that's really strange. Uh, let me give it an oxygen. Well, I've restocked a lot of our supplies, actually. Nice. It'll be a while till we get to the next station. It's like 1,300 meters away. It's almost its body's off of us now. Good, okay. Yep, yeah, because we're Wait, going up. Complex? What? Was that a... No, that was a core. Why, wow, we were dragging a lot of corpses. Yeah, we were dragging a bunch of corpses. Okay. Yeah, no, the corpses of the dead and, like, the enemies was a thing. The corpses of the damned. I mean, it made sense at the time. It's very intimidating, most likely. Oh, yeah. It, that, that's like the whole thing that Vlad was going for, Vlad Tepesh. I don't. I, I think it was more of succeeded in his case. What was it? Impaled like five hundred people in like a couple of weeks for the sake of like city defenses. Oh yeah, and there and at the end of it, it there was a lot more. A I lot clipped more. the oh, wow. I just found your pipe over here in the cabinet. Oh, I'm back to my normal authority access. I need a... Oh, I didn't grab the ID card. Damn. Yeah, you didn't grab a lot of my inventory. No, all of your inventory was there. The only thing that, like, might not have sticked was the your basic tools, like your wrench and your screwdriver, because they dropped for whatever reason. Oh, uh, okay. And besides that, I grabbed everything else. I didn't grab your headset, because it's a headset. Yeah, that's not a tool that we particularly need right now. Okay. Uh, we got a surplus of oxygen tanks now, which is very good. Very. I can refill the couple of places. By the way, wait, why? Why? I think the crew was wearing diving suits when we docked, because now we only have two. <laughs> yeah, well, we have just three at the bottom. Come on, hand, wake up. You're having some problems with your little digits. Yes, I am. Good thing I don't ever have problems with my big digit. Am I interpreting that correctly? Probably. Okay. We will need to pick up a tank of oxygen fuel. Or, I have mean, a uh, welding fuel. Okay. Put into uh -oh. What? We've got, like, a school of crawler coming towards us, and there's also some threshers in the area. They're, okay. they're on us already, the, the crawlers. Oh no, those are uh, threshers! That's a thresher. Top uh, top. Uh, top left, actually, scratch that. Bottom left, bottom right. Bottom left, bottom right. Uh, bottom right, bottom mid. They're kind of falling behind us. C1. I keep forgetting Tiger Threshers give off light. Yeah, they glow. They're bioluminescent. Yep. A lot of people thought that there was a Lava Thresher. But, uh, because when you, whenever you go in to edit, like, their, uh, their character in the character editor, there's, like, another set of sprites that's, like, all red and stuff, and it's just the light. It's just the light effect. Imagine that's how they just to the to the people that pay attention. That's how they drop secret drops. Just in that the would be pretty cool. So the people that pay. Oh, uh, what the heck was that? Oh, was that just water going through the ship? Oh, ballast just went out. We're gonna start dropping. I can see the ballast smoking. Yep, they're completely out. 
Is there any way I could attach an indicator to the ballast that would t show the captain how good they were or not? No. No. What about power consumption? If they suddenly stop consuming power? Nope, you can't. You can't measure power consumption either. They said they're gonna add that though, at least for junction boxes, so that you can put like a text display so you can like see it exactly. Looks like there's a husk above us. I'm gonna check the pathfinding and see if they can't get down here. Oh yeah, that's a husk. There's a husk stuck to the hull. Alive or dead? He's alive. He's having a very unpleasant time. Probably. He also can't do nothing. I wonder what happens if when I open the door down there, if that like changes the way it calculates ballast. Oh, it's clipping through the hull. Okay, we're 180 meters from the, uh, An Androgios? Androgios Linea Facility. Oh, we're passing by a ruin. And if you look off to your left, you will see the ruins of Linea Facility. Famed for the fact that they are actually filled with something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go around the ship and repair some stuff before I go back to deconstructing. Okay, we're about to dock. Okay. And docked, remember it doesn't end right away. Okay, nice. Look at that husk, it's Harry the Husk. He's having mm -hmm. fun. He's like, hey, I have a couple tips for your book. <laughs> More husks. <laughs> yeah, more husks, please. More husks. Ha ha. Give him like a handlebar mustache. <laughs> yeah, the voices. Just ha ha. More husks for Harry. It'd be a great lore character. Just like Harry the Husk. He's like the one friendly husk. He's not part of the, just, the husk he just, mind. He just somehow kept his sentience. Yeah, he kept his individuality. Wait, okay, so the question is, is, is it a person who became husk, but is genetically unique, and so kept, like, they are a husk now, but they're still their human mind and self? Or is this a husk that is not part of the husk mind and kept enough human intelligence that it is now its own husk individual? Ooh, wow, it'd be interesting either way, actually. Or the process, and I don't like this question, the process of figuring out which. Oh, the process of figuring out which would be terrible. That would be... That'd be fucking like, torture, he wants science. To be nice in way. Yeah. Like, he wants to be nice. He wants to help people, but finding out whether this is a person. And, like, he's not lying to you. He doesn't know. Like, this isn't like he's deceiving, just like, tricking you. You don't know whether this is a husk with its own individuality that's taken over a human body, or if this is a person who is genetically unique and is still in control of themselves after the husk has taken over them. I feel like being a husk would feel uncomfortable if you were sentient during it. Well, because it's still a parasite inside of you. Yeah. So you would be, like, aware of the parasite. And it tears up the throat and you can't talk. Sign language for husks. ASL is very important. <laughs> well, I mean, they do still make noise. I'm sure that they could form a form of language. Oh, you know what? Uh, husks make a clicking noise. They could probably uh, do uh, Morse uh, code. Yeah, Morse code. I would imagine that a ship like this would have a backup Morse code system, probably. Because, like, even modern day ships have backup Morse codes. In oh, yeah. Husk code. It's just Morse code, but everything's in reverse. Well, no, but imagine. So, imagine one, ships like this would probably have emergency Morse code operators. Two, what if it became that, like, husk human let's say that there it turned out there were more of these people that it, it, it spread what if they took over that position on ships and that's how they found their integration or reintegration into society that would be very interesting they speak 
they basically they learn to speak using Morse code, and so they take the position of the Morse code operator. That would be so strange. But a very interesting angle. But then also imagine like the human human, so that the non-infected humans are very untrusting of the husks, and so there are there's a bureau that learns Morse code. I like how we're just talking through the door. I didn't even know. Yeah, just hi, hi, uh, close hey, the hey, door. Hey, hey, hi, wow, hi, okay. how you doing there? Fucking hi. you, bitch! <laughs> you got knocked out a full level. I did. Okay, this should be a mini series of us just standing across the door, just like hey. Door talks. Yeah, door just, talks. Okay, I'm gonna go down to fabrication. Okay. Well, we will we will catch all you guys in the next episode. This will be the end of the recording session, so leave your comments below. Bad Husk Harry. Bad boy. No, Bad Husk Harry. Let me see if I can get my gun.